So a few days ago, I posted my Galaxy S5 dishwasher test. I have the same exact S5 here, and I have a tin, I guess, of salt water because somebody in the comments requested that I put the phone in salt water. So I have it here. It still works from the dishwasher test. I'm just going to put this in the salt water and see how long this lasts. It says 1019 on the phone. It's actually 1232. So I'm going to put this in and I don't know how to stop this from turning off. It has been, I can't tell how many minutes because this is in the water. So it only went to two minutes and 19 seconds before it um, froze up, but the phone itself seems to work fine now. I have to charge this up because this thing died over the last few days. So I'm going to grab another S5 and just swap the batteries so it can charge without destroying this charging cable that I have here. So I'm gonna see how much water is in the back cover of this. Surprisingly, not all that much. There is a little bit on the battery. There is a little bit under the battery. That could be from the dishwasher test. Water looks a little bit dirty. This battery's water indicator is completely red. It is like really wet. Hopefully putting this into this other S5 does not destroy this one. So I've charged the phone up a little bit. Surprisingly, it charged pretty quickly. I have also made this water a lot saltier to say. There's a lot more salt in here than there used to be. Probably about three times the amount of salt. And the phone is turning on. It has like 10% charge on the battery. And I have another battery charging up in this phone. So I'm going to put this in once again and just see how long this lasts. I do not understand why it says 26% here, but on the other phone it said 9%. So am I able to put it in like this? Not really. So the phone is going crazy in there. I've been told that is because there's like high conductivity in the salt water. So I'm just gonna let this phone sit for a while. I'm gonna turn it this way and just gonna see how long this thing lasts either until the phone breaks or until the battery dies. Something happened. Just looks like the phone turned off. I'm gonna try and get this thing back on real quick and turn off the auto lock feature if Android allows for that in like 2014. It's 118 now and this thing still is on and it looks like it's working. I need to swap the battery out again. So I'm just gonna do that right now. See if the screen works. Looks like the screen works. So I'm gonna test the camera out and the phone restarts. So there's obviously something wrong with the phone. I'm surprised it still turns on at all at this point. Not that much water at all in the phone. This seal on the back cover is actually doing a very good job at keeping everything out. I might put it in without the back on if this goes on for too long. This other phone says 39% on the battery at the center right now. And on this phone it says 62%, so something is miscalibrated here. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to test a few features of this. So first I do want to see if this camera works. It does. I can also say that Wi-Fi works just fine. I don't really know what else to test, so I'm just going to put this in again, and it's already freaking out. Hopefully this doesn't, I took the phone out of the clock app. I do not like using these old Androids. I want it to be on the clock app. It does not look like this thing is going to be on the clock app, and even if it does go on the clock app, it's just going to keep on pausing the timer, so I'm just gonna let it do whatever. Oh, it actually is kind of working. Coming up on 10 minutes in this salt water, I don't really know how to kill this phone. I put it through the dishwasher, I put it in salt water. I'm just going to try to take the back cover off and just put in the salt water and see how long it lasts. I'm sure that it's going to break after that, but this phone is just taking way too long to break and I want to go to bed. It is 1.32 a.m. and it doesn't want to stop because this water's on the screen. It looks like the back is actually getting like more gray. It looks like it's getting a little bit lighter. 
This is probably the cleanest this phone has ever been. So here it is, no back on it. I'm going to uh, restart the stopwatch and just hopefully put it in without any issues. So uh, here we go. I hope this thing just breaks so I can go to sleep doing this again. I'm gonna give this a little bit of time. So it turned off and maybe it won't turn back on again. Here it is, just absolutely soaked in salt water. I have no idea what that sound was, but it did not sound good. I'm gonna try putting the battery back in. I just realized this was my good battery and I just ruined that. Try turning it on again. I am holding the power button. So I guess that is what it took to break the Galaxy S5, ripping the um, back cover off and throwing it in salt water. Maybe I'll destroy the rest of the phone at a different time, but uh, for now, thank you guys for watching and goodbye. Through this phone.